We're reacting to angry cops. Let's hop into the video. Marines nearly get abducted on a video. Let's dive in in Turkey. What the hell? I'm trying to get a kidnap. Fight Marine. Marines were attacked in Turkey while on shore leave. And when I say attacked, I mean wrapped up by a bunch of people who then put bags over their heads as they were screaming, get out Yankee. But Damn. in an Arab country, that sure sucks. Right. But this wasn't just some gaggle of people that decided to do this. No, this political movement, I guess you could say, is an extreme nationalist group of folks oh. in Turkey that are also super anti-American. Great, great. Damn. Why are we there? And they happen to be so bold that they recorded. Dude, they try to kidnap this poor guy on a oh, video. That Bro, I'm so happy that Marina didn't fight back and whoop their ass. I mean, me personally, I will whoop their ass, low key. Me personally, I'm fighting. You're not taking my, no, my booty is mine. They recorded this and posted it onto the internets where we can see it now. And I'm sure it's just really gonna make your night. They were so right. proud of their work, they had to put their watermark on it. TGB, and now I don't speak Turkish or whatever they right, speak right, over right. there in <laughs> so land. <laughs> <laughs> but the group is called the Turkish Youth Union. And like I said earlier, they're a nationalist, anti-American group that just so happens to be pro-Palestinian and has done similar attacks like what you're about to see oh. in the past. Oh. And I'll explain why. I do why? not know the name of the organizer of this group that is currently yelling in the middle of the street. However, paraphrasing what he's saying, he is upset with America in the Middle East, upset with Israel and the Palestinian conflict and America's involvement in it, and believe that America is responsible for the Israeli attacks into Palestine and on Palestine. It's not my fault that the current people that they're hunting for live among y'all. Sad reality of this world. Sorry, not sorry. Palestinians. That the on. Turkish people stand with Palestine and stand against the U.S. and Israel. You can see them wrapping up one Marine as he yells for help trying to get other Marines or at least other English speakers to try and join in. And let me say, Great job on the crowd to just stand there and record. Yeah, do right. absolutely nothing. Well, yep. two individuals absolutely look like they're being abducted. And the other Marine, who happens to look a lot like me when I'm clean shaved, <laughs> is just not giving a f with like six people on him. And he's smiling until right. they put a bag over his head, which then, in an Arab country, some might say, is a red flag. 100% red flag. A precursor to decapitation. <laughs> And although it is in broken English, you can hear the group say, get out, Yankee, or leave, Yankee. Oh, go Pretty home, sure Yankee. Get out, Yankee. At first, all this looked like was a bunch of weirdos, potentially terrorists, trying to abduct Marines. But I looked a little further into it, and I'm going to give you a little bit more of a deeper Give me more context. I need more context before I... This group of Turks is upset. So hands. And why... You know what I'm saying? They put the from my, from my brothers, bro. Follow me on this rabbit hole. But before we get into the insanity, first a word from this video Our sponsor. And eh, get your money, you see. Get your money, get your money. Get your money, get your money, get your money. Uh, right here. A ton. Proved and in post workout right, link below. Right, the right, right here. Backstory. It's March of 2003 and the war in Iraq has just begun. Unfortunately right. for the US forces, Turkey backed out of what we thought was an ironclad deal, which would allow us to attack Iraq from the north within the Turkish border and go down south into Iraq. But whoopsie daisy, Turkey said no, we couldn't do it anymore, and the United States moved on without Turkey's help. Fast right, forward right. into July of 2003, and the United States have taken over Iraq, but there's an insurgency going on, still a lot of battles happening. And while right, the United right. States forces are in battle, they're also being assisted by the Kurds. The Kurds live in northern Iraq and have an unofficial land called Kurdistan, which kind of goes into Turkey and northern Iraq and a couple other places. They right, want right, autonomy right. and don't often play very nice, especially with Turkey, but there they are. And right. in July of 2003, while doing combat missions, American soldiers run into a safe house, which happens to house a whole bunch of, well, Turkish military oh. special operators. Uh oh. Oh, shit. We get some what good What are you doing right down here. here, guys? I thought you weren't assisting us. I thought you didn't want to be a part of this. Right. Why are you now in our battle space without us knowing? Some people would say, 
Not a good look. And is there not any a good look? Yeah. Professional young soldiers would be. Well, they collected up these Turkish military members in the special operations section, and they put a couple bags over their heads. Yep. Drove them off to be interviewed and did so. What are you doing here? How come you're in this space when Turkey's not supposed to be in here? You right. Thought you guys didn't want to be a part of this, but now you are. Yep. And you're in the Kurdish area of Iraq. Are you guys doing shady stuff that's going to disrupt the whole community? Right. Are you? Are you? Are well, this you? This whole roundup of Turkish special operators in the safe house ends up turning into a treasure trove of holy <laughs> I'm glad we snubbled on this because some additional discoveries were over 33 pounds of explosives, oh. multiple sniper rifles, oh. and a map showing numerous shooting locations around the Kurdish governor's house oh hmm. now did oh. we hold those turkish saboteurs for a while only 60 hours and we right. immediately gave them back to turkey so in a nutshell turkish special operators come down on behalf of turkey to destabilize the kurdish population in northern iraq a battle space in which us the united states are yep. currently involved in we disrupt that put some sandbags over their heads so they right. don't see where they're going or what's going on question them find out the plan to kill the freaking kurdish governor and send the whole area into turmoil stop it and then send them back home after 60 hours wow what a nato w Mary. now that yeah. doesn't seem like such a big deal to us but for some reason turkey was super pissed off and its populace was very angry they Ooh. call it the hood event i don't know what the f is going on first of all turkey you send some shady guys, you send some special forces guys down there to do some shit, and America find out. I call that a skill issue. You don't know how to operate. In Turkey, I thought you had some better shit to do, but I figured putting a sandbag over somebody's head really wasn't that big of a deal. Right. But for them, it's the end of the world. And that's exactly what these dumb Turkish nationalist anti-American idiots are protesting. You can call it almost an abduction. Right when United States military personnel visit Turkey. These morons are upset that after they chose to go into a battle yep. space of which yep. they were not assisting us, right. that we politely Tell them to wrangled fuck up off. their guys <laughs> with no injury, hooded them so they didn't know where they were going because you're going on a military post and God knows you're not really an ally at the moment. And then right, we right. let them go in 60 hours. And because of that horribly humane treatment, the Turkish people and these idiots treat us with contempt. Wow. Fuck you, Turkey. And all right. So now here we are in this stupid video with the Marines getting snatched up, yelling for help, getting a bag thrown over your head by a crazy wild group of civilians, and every Marine plays it cool. Because let's right. be honest here, right? If the Marines start kicking... If... if Marines, I respect you guys for keeping your military bearing, but me personally, someone put something on my head, if I end the whole population, I, I'm freeing the whole country. It might be a new 51 state. Tight shit. And screaming and doing something crazy, the group could turn on them, and then it could be violent. Heck, you see the one idiot fly through yep. here when the white guy almost gets the hood put over his face and start trying to punch people, but holds him back. I think that's the guy that was screaming. I can't tell. They all look the same. Right. But luckily, all 15, they say 15, of the Turkish individuals that held those Marines and sandbagged over their heads because they're upset with the way we nicely treated their saboteurs <laughs> in 2003. Sorry, losing my cool. The 15 that did this to the Marines have all been arrested and charges nice. are pending. I don't know what charges they're going to get, but mm, I would not feel comfortable walking through Turkey at that pier anymore, would I? And facts, these Marines facts, were attached facts. to the USS Wasp, a large naval carrier group that's out there in the Middle East. And immediately changes were made. Nobody was to leave off the pier. Everybody yep. was on a heightened status of alert because there's now like a group, could potentially be a terrorist group, coming yep. after Marines, potentially trying, looking like they're going. Hey, hey uh, Captain of the USS Wasp, Just let the Marines out. Let them, you know. Now there ain't no guns, and they just, you know, pull, they don't have, come up with boxing gloves, just, you know what I'm saying? Anyone come near the ship, knock them out. Type shit. to abduct them. So, Marines, might want to travel in groups of four, right? Maybe more now. Right. Um, if a group wrangles you, yeah, be the calm, cool, collected guy. Talk them down. 
But the second that hood comes out, you're biting and screaming and you're you're gnawing at ass. the freaking elbow, oh, 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 oh. thumb in their eyes and breaking back fingers. Yeah. And Put there are toko. no rules in a street fight in Turkey. And I hope you know that. Now you know. Very proud of you for all holding yourselves. To a higher Calm, standard. Cool and collected. Would have loved to see more Marines show up in a fast motion. I know I just saw knocking people drilling out. Drilling people in the face. Honestly, if it got to odds that where it was like three dudes versus one Marine, if we yeah. had those numbers, I think the Marines would have just said, fuck it. We get back to back and we just start beating right, people. Ass. And it's on. It's absolutely yep. on. Look at how fat and sloppy half of these guys are. You're telling me a couple boop boops to the chin and they wouldn't fall down? A lot of people in there. a two piece. Bar. This Hitting world is turning piece. into a weird space, people. All right. Two piece, pop, pop. A lot Straight. of conflict ah. going on. Not a lot of accountability. I think yeah. we all need to start coming back and seeing ourselves as Americans again and not right or left or Democrat and Republican. Facts. Reese's facts. Whatever. Whatever else you want to say. Yes. Because it is starting to feel like it's us against the world again. Best way to support the channel is get yourself a t-shirt. Yes. Make sure and subscribe to the YouTube channel, and I'll leave his link down below. Thank you very much. Oh, Sergeant's great again. Bring back corrective training. Yes. Let's make the drills on mafia. Look at that fella skating, getting away with murder because he knows how to work the system. Facts. Cheapest way to support the channel is to leave a comment and a like, whatever you want. Um, tell me what you would love to do in this situation. Is everybody like I know I do? Every guy gonna... not just like dream of and constantly daydream yep. of. Like being outnumbered and fighting your way through. Yeah, yeah. You know, like a terrorist group. Yeah. Like you're, you're on your knees and you're about to get beheaded, but then you roll over the camera. And then you, you just get a gun beating and kill somebody ass. You're yeah, trying yeah. to escape. And then you gotta, you know, get into a car. You gotta put a man dress on. You gotta drive to the next military post. Yep. Just me? You just think about it all the time. Okay. Saying. See you next time, weirdos. See you next time, weirdos. Hey, Marines, I'm proud of you guys for holding your military baron, but as soon as that thing come out, Hey, it's a street fight. Straight up street fight. If you die, you die. I'm defending myself and his own video. I'm just saying, Marines. Take notes. And if you enjoyed the video, make sure to like, comment, share, subscribe. Thank you guys for watching my video. Catch you guys next time. Say that a thousand times.